Schools. Partners for the Future is a cultural policy initiative of the German government, which was launched in 2008. The Foreign Office entrusted the implementation of this initiative to four of its partner organisations. The Central Agency for Schools Abroad, the Educational Exchange Service of the Standing Conference of the Ministers of Education and Cultural Affairs of the Lande in the Federal Republic of Germany, the German Academic Exchange Service and the Goethe Institute. Their task was to build up a global network of 1,500 partner schools for Germany. Three of the partner schools are located in the UK. St. Marylebone School in London, Leighton Primary School in Crewe near Manchester, and Bishop Briggs Academy in Scotland. All three schools work in close cooperation with the Goethe Institute. One of the Goethe Institute's most important functions is to support the education system of the host countries, within which it is a guest, specifically in relation to the German language. Im Bereich Bildung, das ja ein Schlüsselthema des 21. Jahrhunderts ist, konzentrierte sich unsere bisherige Arbeit sehr stark auf die fachliche Weiterbildung von Deutschlehrerinnen und Deutschlehrern mit der Initiative Schulenpartner der Zukunft, die das Deutsche Auswärtige Amt 2008 ins Leben gerufen und finanziert hat, haben wir jetzt ganz andere Möglichkeiten der direkten Zusammenarbeit mit und auch in britischen Schulen. Wir können den Schülern und den Lehrern eine Vielzahl von gezielten kulturellen und sprachlichen Angeboten machen. Wir bilden Lehrer hier in Großbritannien und in Deutschland fort. Und was ganz neu für uns ist, wir sind in der Lage, die Schulen mit notwendigen Lehrmaterialien und auch technischen Geräten zu unterstützen. The first partner school which we visited is St. Marylebone School in London. Unsere Schule ist spezialisiert in den Fächern Kunst, Theater, Sport, Mathematik und Informatik. Dadurch, dass wir so viele Fächer spezialisiert sind, sind die Fremdsprachen mehr und mehr in den Hintergrund gerückt. Besonders Deutsch, weil das Interesse generell in Großbritannien immer mehr abgenommen hat in den letzten paar Jahren, was das Deutschlernen angeht. Wir wollten natürlich das unbedingt ändern und als wir von der Initiative gehört haben, Schulen, Partner für die Zukunft, ähm, haben wir uns entschieden sofort ähm, zu bewerben und wir waren natürlich sehr privilegiert, als wir ausgewählt wurden, an diesem Projekt teilnehmen zu dürfen. During initial conversations, it became clear that it wouldn't only benefit the German department, uh, that it could have some benefit for the whole school. And as a performing arts school, uh, the music department was very keen to be involved. I was able to organise a Schumann specialist to come into school to work with a group of our Year 9 music scholars. I mean, it's very important that British schülerinnen and schüler Fremdsprachen learn. Uh, seit langer Zeit haben alle hier gedacht, wir brauchen nicht uh, Fremdsprachen zu studieren, alle sprechen Englisch. And I think now the realization is dawning that actually that isn't the case and that they will have a competitive advantage if they can speak other languages. I think schools need to encourage children to learn modern languages. It's no longer compulsory in this country to study a modern foreign language. It used to be, but it isn't now. So schools have to sell modern languages to their pupils. The schools have to make language learning fun. They have to make it interesting and exciting. And they have to make the children think, yes, that's something I'd really like to do, regardless of the job prospects it may enhance. We're very privileged to be supported by the Goethe Institute. Um, and the German Embassy, and we have done very, very well out of this. And it has lifted the whole uh, status of the language. Everybody knows about the Goethe Institute. The lower school have benefited from theatre companies, artists coming in. Um, the upper school has benefited from study days and revision days. And as a result, uh, our results are very good indeed. The second partner school we visited was Leighton Primary School. Das Partnerschulprojekt des Auswärtigen Amtes hat dazu geführt, für mich persönlich dazu geführt, dass ich versucht habe, die Fremdsprachenstrategie der Zentralregierung zu unterstützen. Und deshalb habe ich ganz bewusst eine Primarschule gewählt, weil hier im Moment wirklich 
alles, alle Initiativen äh, laufen für den Fremdsprachenunterricht. We decided to offer German at Leighton Primary for a, a number of reasons. Primarily, we have Bentley Motors within the catchment area, but also we wanted to expand the horizons of our children. Um, we are an ordinary school in an ordinary town, but what we wanted to do with our children was extraordinary things. I think it's important that children start to learn language as early as possible. Um, they learn without the inhibitions of older children. They're more creative with their learning. They will experiment more with their learning. And they're very used to instructions in German, being told to put the hand up, go to the toilet. Right from when I first start teaching them at year three, I, I believe they're all more than capable of switching the lights on and off and so on in German. That really helps them become immersed in German. Monat Nummer 3 Okay, fertig. Okay. Und wer hat auch März? Aber so geschrieben? Nein, nicht ganz, oder? <laughs> My son went to um, Mickleback last year. He had a fantastic time. He had German lessons in the morning um, and then he got to use his German in the afternoon. I feel British people don't learn enough languages. Um, personally, when I travel abroad, there's always, everybody knows English, but we don't do enough as a country to learn another language, especially when we're so close to Germany, then it is a good, a good language to learn for the British people. I really like German and sometimes it's, when you look at the word, it's confusing. But then when you try and break it down and you actually think about it, it's quite easy. It's very important for Bentley to have staff who speak German. So a lot of our employees are travelling to Volkswagen um, on a daily basis. So it's really important that we're able to communicate with them um, in, in their own language. The German Initiative for Schools Partners for the Future is absolutely a fantastic opportunity for um, young children to start developing their language skills very early on so that it becomes second nature to them. It's not something that they have to do later on when they're either in secondary school or when they've left school and they suddenly go into the world of work and find they can't use another language. It's starting off very early to be able to pick up a second language from the beginning. The Scottish school, Bishop Briggs Academy, is the third partner school which we visited. Because of the uh, Goethe Institute's input, I'm going to study German at university in Glasgow starting in September. And German had always been one of my favourite subjects, but I didn't think I was good enough at it to go and study. When I got the opportunity to actually go and visit Germany, it was kind of, it became a wee bit more exciting and I wanted to find out more about it. Um, so after the trip, it was just, it meant so much more to me because I'd made so many more friends there and my German skills had improved and it was just great, it really was. Well, Germany means for me that in the past it has, Germany has been perceived like from the Second World War and it has came with bad connotations of aggression. But when I was there, I actually saw firsthand that it had moved away from that and that the German people and the culture had all changed. One of the um, important impacts for us and something quite uh, measurable has been the extent to which pupils have um, become more interested in taking German, particularly to higher level, and the number of students who are wanting to continue with their studies in German has certainly increased. In fact, it has doubled in the time in which the partnership uh, has been in place in our school. I think that is because pupils now see the relevance of uh, learning German. A number of our young people are also taking German on to a uh, university level that, and they have told me that they would not have considered that prior to the school becoming involved in the partnership initiative. So it's definitely had a very positive impact on our young people. Um, I spent uh, a week in a course in Berlin along with a colleague and we took part in a, a course for uh, Berlin Heute for German teachers all over Europe. So it was a fantastic opportunity for us, uh, not only to help our German, but to swap ideas with teachers from other parts of Europe.
Die Partnerschulinitiative Schulenpartner der Zukunft gibt dem Goethe-Institut die Möglichkeit, die ganze Schule ins Blickfeld zu nehmen. Das heißt, wir konnten in allen Abteilungen der Schule das Interesse für Deutschland und vielleicht auch hoffentlich die Begeisterung für deutsche Sprache und deutsche Kultur wecken und fördern. Es ist uns sehr wichtig, dass die Partnerschule Modellschule ist für andere Schulen und dass die Arbeit, die wir hier reinstecken und die Initiativen, die wir entwickeln, reinfiltern in die Arbeit der anderen schottischen Schulen. The initiative Schools Partners for the Future thrives and prospers. However, it is not only the three partner schools that are experiencing the benefits. In den letzten zwei Jahren waren wir hauptsächlich damit beschäftigt, dass wir mit unseren Partnerschulen äh, Materialien entwickelt haben und Projekte verwirklicht haben, die das Fach Deutsch in Großbritannien attraktiv gemacht haben. Und es ist uns dabei sehr gut gelungen, äh, eine Vielzahl andere britische Schulen auch in diese Projekte mit äh, zu involvieren, die äh, an diesen Projekten zu beteiligen, was natürlich sehr erfreulich ist. The initiative will also provide British schools in the future with a solid foundation for productive collaboration. From this foundation, further interesting ideas can be developed in relation to German language and culture, which will be a long-term project with the aim of enriching pupils' learning experience. All those we interviewed revealed their favorite German word. What's yours? Uh, Fremdsprachenaustauschdienst. Ein Stück Kuchen. Autobahn. That would have to be Libella. Eisbär. My favorite German word is probably Das Kuchen. <laughs>